In this video, I created Brazilian Brookhaven. Yes, I literally remade the whole game. I made it with a bunch of more Brazilian constructions, cars, and everything in between. And please leave your like and subscribe. This video took a lot of work. Our objective today is to turn Brookhaven into a Brazilian Brookhaven. So let's have a look at what the game has. There's the police station. Brookhaven's hospital is right there. Well, it's kind of boring without our Brazilian flair. So that's why we're turning it into the Brazilian Brookhaven. We're gonna add Brazilian cars and change a bunch of these places so they have a more Brazilian touch. I'm just taking a stroll around the map because it's gonna look a lot different later. We have the stores right here. The pool. But it's still kind of boring, right? Now we are here at a Brookhaven made by someone that had the same idea as us. A Brazilian Brookhaven. Why is this always happening to my head? I look so dumb like this. My body gets so much bigger than the rest of my body. And I end up really damn bald. This place doesn't look to have changed a lot. It even looks like an old build of the game. Like these stores, this cleaner has already been removed. And there's a post office here. Look at how different the school looks. A change they made was this police car. You can see that it is more of a Brazilian car. It looks really good. What happens if I step on this? Nothing apparently. At least the car still works. Or not. I guess I was wrong. I can't get it out of here. I'll be making the best Brazilian Brookhaven possible. For this I got this program that lets me modify maps in Roblox. With this I can do stuff like delete everything. Just look at how weird it looks now. But I don't want to delete the streets. Let's do that with something like this helicopter. I have so much power. Look, it's bugged out now. Good golly. Okay, so we need to go here in models and write Brazil. With that written, they will show us a bunch of stuff for us to add to our map. I think we can start off by adding a flag right next to the fountain. Actually, I think I'll place it more to the side of the spawn. And just look at this. Now we have Brazil's flag right here in Brookhaven. This is so cool. It even moves. This is awesome! We have so many Brazilian items to put into the game. Let's continue on and go right here to this plane. I'm just gonna click on it, and... Oh! I only wanted to delete the plane, not everything. Is there actually a way to delete it? It looks like I end up deleting everything when I do it. You know what? Just leave that plane alone. But right by its side, I'll be placing a Brazilian plane. Just give it some minutes to load. <laughs> Let's just move it to a better place than this. We just need to turn it a little bit so it's facing the right position. How do I even do this? Oh wait, I think I got it. Now we just need to turn it back. Okay, we're learning. I think I learned how to turn it, but he's now nose diving. Why do you do this to me? Plane, just turn easily. Okay, we're almost there. We just need to move it a bit more. Make it go up a little more. Why did it go underground? It's pretty hard to use this thing. Okay, we did it. It's really damn close to that other plane, which shouldn't be the case. But it's okay. Now we have this beautiful Brazilian plane in the game. We are now here right by the airport to have a look at them. Wait, what happened to it? How did he even turn like that? I didn't leave it like that. But we know indeed have our Brazilian plane. Let's get on top of it. This is not as easy as it looks. Okay. Let me show you this plane. Right here it's written Fly Brazil. And right at its tail it's written the same. All green and pretty. I just got an idea. I'll go here to the hill and I'm gonna try to make a favela over here to represent our Mandrake brethren. I'm gonna search for Mandrake. But sadly just the creature from Harry Potter showed up. Let's search for favela then. There's a lot of these buildings here for us to use. Look! There's even a Mandrake right there. To start off, I'm gonna put a thug right here as if it was one of the guards of the favela. Let's see what other stuff we can put in. I'll actually place another thug there. Let me just turn him around. I guess they will be the two guards of the place. Now we need houses for the favela. For us to do that, I'll need to delete these things here. Ugh. I guess that deletes everything. Okay, I don't care that much. I'm gonna get one of those houses and put it on top of it. Look how good that looks. Let's make it go right to the corner. Then it'll look awesome. I want to go there now to have a look at how it looks. The thing is that there aren't any cars in this one for now. If I click this icon, it doesn't do anything. Let's go and search for some cars. Actually, let's get a beetle to represent us in Brazil. We call it Fusca over here. Let's just see if it's working. Wait. 
I guess it is just for decoration. Let's try to use another Brazilian car for us to go. God damn it. None of these work. I'll just walk there. Here are our thugs in the entrance. How's it going, dudes? I'm gonna continue on as I am indeed the owner of this hill. And take a look at that house. It really looks like one from a favela. Let's have a look inside and see how it is. Well, there isn't anything. But we at least have these cool windows. I think I can actually move it right here while playing. I'm going to try and duplicate this one so we can place another one beside it. There we go. This is already looking pretty cool. I'll even go out of my way to have a car up front just so it looks cool. I'll put a beetle over here. Okay. I think something went wrong. I ended up placing it inside the house. Let's just take it out of here. Okay. It's outside now. Oh, wait. I think I ended up pulling the house a little. Let's fix that. Now that it's right at its place, let's place the beetle in its place. I think I'll put it right there so we can make a little garage right by this side. I decided on that just now. Let's get some different looking places. I'm gonna get this one right there. The beetle came back. Stay right over there, dude. Now we have our new favela building right here. It even has a little satellite dish. I can't actually go inside. But at least it's already looking good. I'm gonna place another one right here. Dude, I'm still having a hard time using this. Let's just turn this one around. And there, it's already looking nice. I'll get the same one as before and put it right besides that one. Now we're talking. This is looking cool as heck. I actually just realized something. Let's just get up into this place and I'll show it. Damn, I fell. This is weirdly hard to climb, but we got it. I think this is really cool. They have these water tanks on top just like Brazilian homes. Let's go down now, since we are almost done with our work up here. I'll place another house right there. Just have to turn it a bit. Oh, I already did that one. Let's delete it and try out another. Let me see what this one is. It just lagged my whole map. I may have placed something very big. Wait, what? Did I bug my whole map? Every part of Brookhaven's map is glitched now. Okay, we got it back as it was. Let's just get back to our favela to see how it is after that. I need to get a working car. It's annoying to have to walk across everything. These cars aren't helping me at all. Good to know that at least our guards are still up. Dude, where are all the houses we put here? Only one remains now. I guess the others were deleted after that. I'll have to do this all over again. All right, guys. I placed the houses back where they were, so I fixed that problem already. We now have our beetle back, which we still can't drive. Now we have this new house over here that we'll look at together. Well... There's nothing much here, just a glitch vacant sign. From up here, we can basically see everything from the hill to the town of Brookhaven. Now I just need to fill most of these empty spaces on the hills with other types of houses so it looks good. Let's also delete this billboard here. It's kind of getting in the way of everything. There's also a house on top of it for some reason. Then I'll delete the whole billboard, grab the floating house and place it right there. Turn it so it's facing the street and now it's looking very nice. I'll also have to delete this bus stop. It's not helping us at all. Gosh darn it, we deleted everything again. Apparently everything has been deleted again. All those houses, the billboard is still standing. Okay, give me a moment to fix everything. Okay, now we have some other stuff here in our favela. Just let it load for a little bit. There we go. I placed our spawn here so it's easier for us to look at the favela. Okay, now I'll show you guys everything. Our trusty beetle is still standing here. We got the two-story house I've shown before. The one with the satellite dish. I've placed this one right here. That by the way has nothing inside. But we'll put something there later. Wait, there's some parts of the roof on the floor? I guess we got some infrastructure to take care of later. Here we have these small brick buildings that still are really empty. Let's say that they're under construction. Just look at all these roof tiles on the floor. We gotta take care of that later. We got another two stories there and also another satellite dish one too. Now our favela is just in need of another thing. Right at the entrance of our hill, where we have our thugs there needs to be something. So I'll be placing more favela up this place. Let's see if it looks nice to have a house up the hill. Just have to turn it a little bit. Okay, not that much. Awesome. Now we have one of these in here. Let's duplicate it and place them around so it looks a lot more like a favela. We just gotta place it right near the end. Just the last one to complete it all. Just look at how the hill is looking. This place is finally taking shape. I'm gonna get all of these houses and place them right over here. Except they are floating for some reason. What's 
happening here? I think we just have to pull them down a bit. And there we go. It's looking so nice right now. I'll duplicate it and put it on the side as well. Just give me a moment to place it properly. This is kind of finicky. It's already looking so nice. Let's just put it a bit to the side so it doesn't look too weird. I'll place it across the street too. Actually, across both streets. This is actually looking a lot better than I thought. Now we're back to our Brookhaven so we can have a look if we need to change something or not. This part I've already shown. The beetle, the houses and stuff. Now let's have a look at the hill's entrance. Look at how these houses have a nice atmosphere. Our thugs are right there protecting us and now out of nowhere there's just a bunch of houses around here. Oh look at those cute curtains. I love that. Look at how cool this place is already looking. I just think that we have to move it a little bit. Just pull it towards the side there so it looks better. There we go. We are doing good. Look at this side as well. We even have a little playground to play in. Is it good? Well, I'm a bit too big for it. But look at how this street is just looking so damn awesome. Look at our favela from afar. It already looks so nice. Now I actually got farther to look in, dude. This is so cool. I just think we need to put some more houses over here. Just gonna grab some of these houses and put them there. Have a look, guys. We now got some more houses over here. It's already not as empty as before. It's looking a lot more like a favela. We even got some alleys to boot. I really like how it looks. Now we gotta change up more of the city. Let's see if we can actually delete some of this. It looks like we can't. I think what we need are just some more houses along this way. We can't forget the other side, of course. Now let's search for cars. What kind of cars are we gonna put in this place? There, it's the car of a Brazilian ambulance. Right here at the hospital we'll be putting some of these. Look at how cool it looks. Let's park him correctly here. Now we got Samu's car here. 192 is our emergency number. I'm gonna fill this place with a bunch of them. Put some more to this side as well. I think that'll look nice. Just look at all these cars here ready to rescue some people. Now we gotta get some cars for our police. I'll search for Palicia so we can find some Brazilian ones. Let's see if this one is what we are looking for. Yes it is. It's written tactical force. Let's look at another. This one is for the civil police. This one looks really damn good as well. Another one. Let's see if it catches my eye more. Now this one some of you may know. It's Sao Paulo's police car. Let's go and park them right there then. Now our police station has three different Brazilian car models. This middle one is for sure the best. Even its headlights are red and blue. Let's actually search for some sort of barrier. Does this one work for this? I think it does. Let's keep placing it around here. Just so we block this place in. Now we basically got some sort of gate going in our favela. So no one tries to just run in without thinking. And of course... Our thugs will be here to ensure that doesn't happen. Guys, I actually found this table with some guns and stuff. I think I'll place it right here. I'll even get one for the other side of this. Now we got the barrier, the thugs, and some of their stuff near if they need it. Let's actually have a look around to see what I can add to this place. I think I'll do another favela to this side. It's too empty for my liking. Let's just go towards that side to get some of these houses. Awesome. Let's just place it right there. Some more on the other side. All right. We got some more houses up in this place. I think I'll just not go overboard here since this is not the favela's hill. Now to this side we have the actual favela with its signature housing, some cars. Actually, we should get some more cars. I think this black beetle would look good here too. It's even carrying some surfboards. Maybe the owner is a surfer. Let's get another one of these. Okay. This is already coming together. Now it's time for us to have a look at our Brazilian Brookhaven. Subway? It's written Subway here for some reason. These are the houses I've already shown you guys. Our cars that still don't work. Wait! This one is working. Okay, let's see if we can drive it. Awesome. This one is actually going. I'm actually really pumped that I'm able to drive this beetle around our favela. Damn, I guess this hill may be too much for the poor guy. Let's try it again. Okay. We're almost there. No, no, we didn't make it. Wait, is it faster in reverse? Let's see if going on reverse works for us. Well, I guess it worked. That's really weird. Just look at how cool this all looks. These streets have livened up after we put these houses here. This backlight is so damn strong. Let's go and have a talk with the thugs here. Wait, where is the barrier we put here? It looks like it broke for some reason. Hey guys. You good? I'm just gonna go up the hill right quick. If my car actually is able to do this, since it seems to be struggling. Well, I guess we're going down. 
We'll have to put it in reverse just like before. I don't understand how this car can be so much faster in reverse. But we're here now. Look at how nice our favela looks. Let's look at this side now. All these houses look great. Now I'll just go straight down without a care in the world. I was gonna be sad that it flipped. But we can help with that easily. Can we pass through this narrow way? Yes, we can. Oh, look. It's the hospital and all its ambulance cars. Actually, we didn't check if we could drive them. Can we? Yes. Yes, we can. Wait. There's the police ones too. I gotta test them out. I'm gonna go and test the prettiest one of them all. Heck yeah. Look at it go. This is like the prettiest car I've put in this game. Look at the speed of this car. It goes so darn fast. Let's see it go up the hill. Bonk. Okay. Okay. It isn't that fast. But it's pretty cool. I'll actually go and take a look at the other favela. There's just this playground in the middle of the street. Except for that it looks good. What about this side? Yeah, it looks nice too. This car really does go really fast. Let's go up the hill. Holy moly. I think I crashed into the guards. How are you guys doing? You know. After I crashed into you. I'll actually crash into you again. I don't give a damn. Good golly. It's so hard to control this car. Wow. Look at him on top of my car. Can you please get off, sir? I'm literally going at top speed and he doesn't let go. Oh, there we go. Our Brazilian Brookhaven is actually looking really cool. Let's just park our police car back at its place. I'm just the best driver Brookhaven can ask for. So this is how our Brazilian Brookhaven ended up. We couldn't change much except put this flag in spawn. But we did add a whole favela up in this place. Just look at this neighborhood too. It looks really nice. And if we go up here, you can just see how good this place looks. I actually need to take the spawn block back to the fountain so people don't just spawn in the hill. And to that other side, there's like a mini favela. Not much was added. Now at the police station, we were able to add these three Brazilian cars. This one from Sao Paulo. The cool one and the civil police one. We even got some ambulance cars for our hospital. Now I'm gonna be publishing this map into Roblox. Then we'll see if people get in it. I don't know if it's gonna work. And for that we need to click here in archive and click save in Roblox. Now we'll need to put in the name of it, a description, the creator, that's me, the genre, and the devices. So, we are gonna call it Brookhaven, but it's Brazil. It's funny. I like it. Here in the description, I'm gonna place just something general about the map. We can also put between asterisks Brazilian Brookhaven so it catches people's attention. So that's just how it's gonna be called now. In the description, I put in this is Brookhaven, but in its Brazilian version, with favelas, police cars, and everything in between. I think here in the creator, instead of being me, I'll be putting my Roblox group. In genre, it's gonna be all of them. I guess. In devices, I'm gonna be checking off every one of them. Now I'm gonna save it, and now my game will be published inside of Roblox. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the game must be working. Let's just look at my profile. Oh, by the way, this is my profile in Nando YT. Go there and follow me so we can play together, and you'll maybe even get to be in a video. Now, our game is still not in creations, but if we go down here in our favorites, it'll be there. It's still not published officially in Roblox, I think you have to wait a little while for that. But I'm gonna go into it and we'll see if it's working. Okay, we're going in. It already has the same entrance as Brookhaven. That's already really cool. Look at this. Our flag stands tall to show all of our Brazilian glory. Our police cars are right there, looking good. The ambulances are as well. And if we start going up here, we'll start to see our favela. Some stuff we put in is still broken, by the way. We got our thugs guarding the gates. And going up, we'll see the favela we designed, cars and all. Looking from afar, you can see just how much our favela resembles Brazil. This is looking so good. The other side still needs some renovations, but it is still looking pretty nice. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I also created two of the videos on screen right now. Give them a watch. Please drop your like below and comment on your favorite part of our Brazilian Brookhaven. Don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. Have a good one.